Season 5, Episode 20, Hearthbreakers. Um, it was okay. I mean, there were some parts of it. I mean, as always, it's usually the real strength of MLP is the characterizations. And yeah. I like these characters. Um, though yes, they Applejack did, had they the... They did a great job with background characters. I mean, look at Applejack. Uh, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> uh, if you ever want to know how to get Dex's goat, call Applejack a background pony. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, she did kind of get handed the idiot ball this this week. Yeah, uh, that this episode honestly was seriously cringeworthy. I could barely sit through it. I Just, actually, she was. So, ugh. Yeah, like the beginning and the end. Were great, but then that little stupid yeah. conflict in the middle where she like threw up all these things, like it's like, okay, AJ's traditionalist. I, you can tell that from the way she is. She likes things traditional, the way they've always kind of been done, and that sort of thing. But it's a little much for what she would do. I mean, she I wouldn't. She seemed really out of character for this one. Yeah, like the beginning was great. The you know, the beginning, the ride on the train, completely okay, in character. Everything between the two train rides was a train wreck. Essentially, okay. yeah, essentially, yeah. She was out of character for and a lot of that. Before the train ride, you know, up to the end of that first train ride, and starting with the second train ride on, were great. Yeah, everything in the middle of that was. I could barely sit through it. Yeah, it's like this isn't what this isn't what she would do. You know, yeah. this seems like more what would happen if, you know, Pinkie Pie had a traditionalist streak, you know. It sounded like it's honestly, I could see Twilight doing that. Yeah. I, I could see Twilight being like that. But not Applejack. Yeah, and she out and out lies. <laughs> it's like we told them we were expecting this. We were expecting this. It's like, yeah. no, no, no. Element that of was honesty like my here. First moment of cringe. Like, okay, she's out of character. Seriously, I understand wanting to cushion the blow for somebody, but she wouldn't straight up lie like that. Yeah, she'd be like, "This is interesting." Yeah, she. This she, is <laughs> different. It is what I would do. <laughs> it's like. And I, I wouldn't out and out say what I really think, but I wouldn't lie either. I'd just kind of still part of the truth or not really, you know, say anything or you know, work my way around not directly lying to your face. I'll, I'll say, well, that's yeah. interesting or... That's Exactly. That's you know, interesting. That's well, bless different. your heart. <laughs> if you ever get told that. <laughs> Especially from somebody with a southern accent. <laughs> yeah, you know what's going down. That's that's a very polite way of, of doing that. It's like, that, that's, the, that's the nicest southern way to do that. Just, oh, bless your heart. Yeah, you know. Hot garlic. You made such an effort. <laughs> yeah. You failed miserably, but you made such an effort. Yeah. But. This this episode was just, ugh. Yeah, the beginning and the end, and the pies were really cool. I like, like getting to meet I all did. the pies. I liked, I liked the characters. They yeah. They were really well developed, really well written for just one-offs. Although, yeah. we might see him again. Who and we've seen Maud. This is the second time we've seen Maud. I know. There I is know. a, there is a theory in, going um, out there that I saw that was... Um, well, yeah, Equestria Girls, I forgot about that. But uh, the four temperaments... Like, if you look at the, the four pie sisters, each of them yeah. represents one of the four temperaments. Pinky, Sanguine... Uh, limestone is caloric, uh, marble is melancholy, and mod is phlegmatic. And each of it, it, there's an old theory, and it, it it's kind of interesting. It's the it's the four humors. It, it's it's been done. Yeah, you know, I think 
they even do it with um with the uh, like ninja turtles you have each of those as a representative in a, in a different way but it's yeah. it's there um mm -hmm. but yeah the they're very they're very interesting characters i like them yes they were, <laughs> they were very well written now if only they would put that amount of effort into the story itself yeah if they could found one way of doing that without throwing applejack way out of character this could have been an amazing episode. It could have been. It had amazing potential. I mean, they just killed it. Yeah. Every little piece of that just... Ugh. Yeah. Bet yeah, between the train rides... Bleh. But, you know. Yeah. And you I know, loved the, the characters. I loved the, you know... I loved the beginning and the end. The middle needed serious development yeah if they had retweaked the reason the, the the thing in the middle that causes the conflict you know even, maybe maybe to make it a misunderstanding basis. instead of an yeah maybe yeah. maybe a misunderstanding or something that would be more innocent and less you know being overbearing Blatant disregard for somebody else's traditions yeah that's basically what it is and applejack would never have done that because Applejack, she is a traditionalist, but she is not solely her traditions. Yeah. She is, she is very much the accepting type. She's, she's always been the one who's like the voice of reason. Yeah. Within the group. Yeah, and if you Whereas, look, go back to oh, what was it? Oh, Sisterhood of Social. Who was the one yes. telling Rarity to be more accepting of Sweetie Belle's ideas? Exactly. She wouldn't have been so... Even Apple Bloom was telling her she was fucked up this episode. That's how bad it was. Yeah, Apple Bloom was seeing it. It's their Apple tradition. The voice of reason here. <laughs> yeah. It was... Yeah. There was some was good... Wrong. There were some good things, but there were... There was some stuff in there like... Okay, so to be honest, I uh, about <laughs> uh, about about the time she did the the redecorating, as it were, mm -hmm. I actually turned it off at that point. I was like, I'll watch it later, I but I just can't. I, I, I can't deal with this. This is stupid. No. Like, yeah, I know. It, I know they're gonna find a way to resolve everything, and it's gonna yeah, come do. come together at the end. But it was just that's stupid. Um, yeah, seriously, I, I had to pause it there too. I'm just like, nope, nope. It was a big can of nope. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that yeah, I'm kind of going, and that's this, uh, and I haven't. There's a lot to talk about with this episode, and I, you know, I haven't even really gotten that far into my notes even yet. I mean, really, it's, <laughs> um. <clears throat> Did you just write a big old nope on the page? No, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I can get started. I do like the fact that we got back to... Uh, Heart Swarming from Season 2. There was some nice continuity yes. there. They brought that back. Yeah. Uh, a shame the continuity was not chronological, though. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah chronolo chronology, not real great. But they brought stuff back, and... Remember this thing we talked about before? It's back, and we're actually going to explain more about what the, you, know, you know the story of it. Now we're going to tell you the traditions of it, at least in a couple families. Which mm -hmm. you know, uh, let's see what else was there. Um, Pinky was thinking inside the chimney. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that, that's the first thing that came to mind when she pops out of the chimney. It's like. It's either, there's, well, there's two things you can think of. Santa Pinky has arrived, or um, she was thinking inside the chimney. She, she remembered get, putting, uh, Chancellor putting head and was like, hey, I'll try that. It's a good thing Twilight didn't set a fire in there. Yeah, That's true. Uh, we do get a little foreshadowing with, um, 
uh, with you know them talking about Twilight and Spike's traditions and the way they do it, uh, you know, basically getting to the the root of this episode, what it's supposed to be teaching. Different traditions for different families are normal. Each family has their own culture, though they can be similar. Um, one question even it raises... If they have, and, you, and that even if they have the same overall traditions, you know, like they were talking on the train, oh, we put up dolls and we do this and we do that, and mm. oh my god, we do the same thing. We're like perfectly matched. It might not actually be the same way. The execution's yeah. a bit different. Yeah. The idea is the same. Execution's different. Um, and yeah, uh, one thing that it did th make me think about was um, why isn't Twilight visiting her parents in Canterlot? Or her. Or her brother in the brother Crystal Empire. Sister. Yeah, her brother and sister law. Or you can have a party there. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. if if it's a problem for Shining Armor and Chris and, and Cadence to get away from the Empire, just invite everybody up to the Crystal Empire. You know, exactly. have you know have Mom, Pa, and you know Spike and Twi and Twily go all the way up to the Crystal Empire. I mean, mm -hmm. there'd be plenty. There'd probably be plenty of snow way up there, so you know you'd have a nice heart swarming. Yeah, plenty of space. Good grief, they have a freaking castle. Bigger than Twilight. And, and that, that's an interesting. Twilight could have a nice little fireplace, uh, cuddle with Flash and piss off all the bronies. No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but that's kind of a it's kind of an interesting thing when you have a family that has to decide which castle they want to go to. Yeah. <laughs> so who's Castle, are we going to attend this family function? <laughs> are we going to go to Twilight's castle or the castle in the, in the Crystal Empire? <laughs> or are we just going to hang out with Celestia again? <laughs> Sally, you don't mind, do you? Yeah. Yeah, Twilight's definitely not spoiled rich. Well, see, yeah, no. that's the thing, though. It's like they were both, uh, both, you know, it's like, that's a heck of a family to have. Okay, from all intents, from everything we can tell, you know, uh, Nightlight and Twilight Velvet, not big, you know, big wigs or anything, they, just... Uh, they were just normal, everyday people. Yeah, just they normal... They just happened to have royalty in their, uh, from their kids. <laughs> yeah, both kids, one became a princess, one became a prince. It's like, can we can we buy your 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 uh, your you know child rearing book? <laughs> right. But you have to think the the rent on Twilight's castle must be extraordinary. Not so. really. She owns. They they basically at this point have just kind of given her the land. It's like she's freaking princess Twilight Sparkle yes. just. I am princess. I will destroy you. I'm the, basically she's protecting them so from all the big baddies, so they give her the place. Yeah, and it's not like she took it from anyone. It kind of grew out of nothing. So it's like the only and thing she's taking up is land space. So and <laughs> not even that because it actually has the same space surface area the rest is all up yeah oh, okay they grew out so it's the same land she just took up airspace yeah yeah uh yeah uh what was I oh anyway, anyway okay, um it's a different place it, spot because they had to dig up the tree from another location but, but anyway, yeah, anyway, that was back the, to the train wreck. Yeah, um, I think the heartwarming dolls were cute, those were cute. Yeah, those cookies. Uh, which I cookies? I never had like Christmas cookies. They really make I've had people have them, I've just never eaten any. Oh, simple sugar cookies, those are great. I don't like sugar cookies, 
I don't like crunchy cookies. They make me... They're, they're icky. They don't have to be all... I only like... Whatever. I don't like crunchy cookies. <laughs> I only like soft, gooey chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. And only if they're soft and gooey. Mm -hmm. Oh, I make some pretty awesome dark chocolate walnut cookies. Those are pretty good. But... I don't like walnuts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> Commie. <laughs> I'm very picky about my sweets. <laughs> uh, anyway, about okay, Ball. moving on. That's enough. I don't need them in my in my food. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, book joke gets another jab. <laughs> the gift was a book. It's like, ugh. Okay, we get it. You know, Twilight likes books. It's the thing that happens. Then we get on the train, and there are two movie references on the train. Uh, there's the planes, trains, and automobiles guys, and uh, the mother from Home Alone is on the train um, in the background. The mother from Home Alone? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what who it's supposed to be. It is. It yeah. Is. I've, and, I and haven't plus... seen Home Alone. And plus the other cameo, but I'm not quite sure what movie that was from. I must have missed the, that cameo. It, it it was the one. It was in the train too. There was it was in fact the same scene. There was a big pony hugging a kind of skinnier pony. Kind of had. Yeah. Uh, keep going. I'll that was planes, that. trains, and automobiles. Oh, that was. Yeah, the big, big guy in the. Kind of gray-haired, smaller pony. Yeah, yeah that was Planes, yeah. Trains, and Automobiles. Great okay. movie. You should, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. I I have seen it. I just forgot the name of it. Yeah, that's Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Um, now there was one part of it that they did get r right about her character. Appaloom complains about, oh no, this that's your sisterly lecture voice. It's like, yes, that that sounds exactly like responsible big sis AJ. It's like I'm gonna lecture yes. at you. Yes, that that's right. Like but that was before the train. Right? Yeah, I know. That I know we're still we're still having <laughs> before even the gotten... train wreck, she was really in character. Yeah. Uh we get gingerbread ponies retelling the tale. In case you missed Tarth Warming Eve, the second season two thing episode. Um, I, I love how Pinkie Pie ate it. What happened to the flag? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was. That was funny. It was cute. Yeah. I love the, the tradition building in this episode as well that we have, like, this is what our traditions are. You know, the three-layer bean dip and all that sort of thing. Uh, I love the apples. They're great. Yes. Um, let's see. Pinky does very quick math with new friendships. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. We get Sherlock Maud. Um, say that marble is that we didn't know that marble was uh, actually her, her twin sister that was kind of interesting even though she's slightly younger it's like seconds <laughs> um we already talked about the element of honesty saying this is what we were expecting. Yeah. I do want to see what I what I would like to see on the other hoof here is I would like to it might be a bit redundant, but you could probably do something creative with it. Would be next time they do a heart swarming episode, you could flip this and have them do a uh the have the pies come to Sweet Apple Acres. <laughs> I'm not sure what you would do with it, but you could teach something with that. Um, 
And lo and behold, as it was f not foretold, Marble Mac was born and it completely took over the fandom for a few days. Yep. Oh, a few days. It was this, this cute. Is last, this is gonna last weeks. Yeah, it, oh, it absolutely. Was... It's it's adorable. And they're it's such a sweet and little remember, pairing. If they they're not really related. that closely related. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, even... as long as you're like fifth or sixth well, they are southern. as long as it's like fifth or sixth cousins it's fine yeah well the it's thing like... is i think i looked at somebody who'd made a, a chart or something of it and the, the 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 connection would be so tenuous that they're really yeah. not any not really that blood related more marriage related than blood related yeah um yeah. but yeah i mean they're they're so distant that it really they might be related but it'd be so thin that it wouldn't even you know be a real thing. Yeah. Uh, we get to talk about the pairing stone or the choosing stone. They they use both names for it. That were that uh, cloudy quartz and igneous got together around. Yeah, it's like, yeah. you know, I want to know more about this, you know. You know. I love how Granny Smith was like, I wonder if that works for us old ponies. <laughs> I'd like to get a hold of some, Somebody's some, some apple of farming farm. hunk. <laughs> now, <laughs> this is off topic, but it's about Granny Smith. There's... Some of has been nagging at me. Um, whose uh, whose whose mother was Granny Smith? Was it um Applejack's father, or Applejack's mother? I don't rightly think it matters. Well, they're southern, so it could have been both. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I mean. It could have been, you know, mother said, father said. Yeah, doesn't really matter at this point, and we couldn't, and we can't really tell without knowing what her parents look like. And even then, yeah. it'd be, a, it'd be, a, you'd be hard pressed to do that. Um, the whole pairing stone or choosing stone thing is gonna uh, chip fix her inbound if they're not already out. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh. Marble Mac pairing stone ship thick. Oh yes, yeah. They come. Yeah, I'm to... sure there are plenty of those out. <laughs> yeah, they come to. They bring the pairing stone to, with them on on the next heartwarming eve when they come to visit the apples, and they bring the pairing stone and things get out of, get out of hoof. Yeah. Or they just bring it because Granny Smith was wanted to study it more. And... Yeah, and it accidentally lands on those two, and they're like, and it lights up like a freaking Fourth of July. It, this <laughs> bearing stone, though, I, I wonder, is it kind of like spin the bottle, but with a raw? <laughs> spin the pebble. It, it's actually on a on a type of like, I, I don't know. But it's so that you spin the rock, and wherever it lands, that's who you're shipped with. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here's what you do: you take the rock, right, and you throw it up into the air, and who's ever hit it lands on you, Mary. Ouch. <laughs> and the best thing is, they won't be conscious to say no. <laughs> <laughs> So, that leaves me one then. Which one got knocked over the head? Igneous or his wife? I would think it would be the wife that throws the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just think just think of the flower game. Um, you mean the bouquet and weddings? Yeah. Yeah, that. The flower game. <laughs> the flower game. Except more painful.
Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. I love the color scheme of the ponies. I love how they all have, have dull colors, and Pinkie Pie is this bright pink cotton candy cloud. <laughs> she was always the odd one. <laughs> oh, getting more into Igneous. She was always the odd one. <laughs> she is the niece from the Munsters. That's who she reminds me of. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the idea, I guess. All of them are kind of very rock heavy and then just, you know, kind of somber rock heavy people, phonies. But then you just have Pinky. She's the odd one. Um. Yeah, and with the terribleness happening, uh, where did AJ get that pole and all that, all that, all those things? <laughs> all that, you know, in the middle of the night. <laughs> Seriously. In a town she, she doesn't know anybody in. Hat. Uh, well, logic does not exist. In this show. AJ cries on the inside. Or at least in private. Yep. Do like at the end though that they did bring in the sweet rolls. The that though they weren't a pie tradition, they did bring them along for, they did incorporate them into the Arse Warming Day with uh, well, I think, well, after the whole incident, they mentioned about how they were merging their traditions. Yeah. And they were going to yeah. do it. And that was one of the merged traditions. Yeah. I like that. I like that that's some, it's something that's unobtrusive. Like I said, that was after the train wreck was Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, an, we were, I kind of skipped over the train wreck because we've kind of already yeah. beat that thing to death, so... Um, it's not dead enough. Let's shoot it. <laughs> um, Double tap. Just to be sure. Uh, yes. Don't want it rising from the dead and becoming a zombie. Uh, let's see. Uh, but I did like that they, they threw that one in there. Um, I we liked got... how she put her freaky little rock on the top at the end. <laughs> Oh yes, the you got a weird rock. You're just upset because you got a weird rock. <laughs> Big Max looks normal. Uh, Apple Blooms looks normal, and then there's that freaky little. It kind of looked like the smooths. Or there's uh, oh, what are they called? It wasn't the Shunchurians. That was another show. Uh. Like Eep and Orc or something like that. It's a there's a there was a show, an old cartoon show that that had, it's like the Guardians or the Centurion. No, it wasn't the Centurions. Um, I don't think. Anyway, I'd have to look it up. But it, it, basically, there were blob creatures, two blob creatures that were part of the kind of team, and it looks like one of them. I'd have to look that up. I may look up that later, but. Um, And we got more mod poetry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or song. They're all about rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, while she's reading, we get Marble Mac sitting together, which is enough to pair them. <laughs> and now he's got three ships. <laughs> three major yes. ships. There's a yeah billion minor ships, given that there's only a handful of decent male characters. You know. It's like... You emphasize the decent a little too much. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, all the male characters are either married or jerks. That doesn't stop them. <laughs> well, I mean... Uh, that doesn't stop... You've heard some of the 
after dark stories we've read that yeah. doesn't stop them <laughs> oh i know but i mean of the the nice ship fix where it's you know the reasonable pairings you know it's you know there's very few males that are actually kind of decent stand-up guys you know soren seems like a nice guy big mac and yeah yeah blue blood's a twat what and blue blood is a twat yeah and blue blood's always a twat uh, Flash Sentry is basically only shipped with Flutter, uh, with the uh, wow, Flutter. I know Twilight or Sunset Shimmer. Who you Twitty seems okay. He seems he seems Discord shipped with a lot of people. Yeah, well, but yeah, there's just not there as many. Of... There's just not as many male characters that are worth doing any shipping with. True. Yeah. Brayburn's fine if you're not intending to have kids. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or let's hope you're not intending to have kids if you have Braeburn as the male yes um there's Dr. Hooves oh yeah Dr. Hooves but he's but, mostly shipped with Derpy yeah that's, this is true it's usually well there's three that he's usually shipped with yeah, there's Derpy, Derpy is the most prominent Rose at uh, Rose Luck because Rose, Rose, Rose. Like, yeah. and Twilight. Twilight, uh, yeah. yeah. Which makes sense. Nerdy, sciencey, it, it kind of flows together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think. And the general idea with the Derpy Doctor pairing is that it's. Derpy's kind of like Rose Tyler. I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> That may be my opinion, but I didn't say that. <laughs> but well, and the fact that she's Derpy is the mother of uh, Amethyst and Dinky. Yeah, that's that's the general seems to be the general consensus with some people on on the Derpy Dock ship. Well, getting back on track. Eh, it's but yeah we're, we're just kind of kind of got out there um is there any other things you want to talk about i think we we hit just about everything i can think of though yeah uh, yeah i think that's about all i could think of yeah, um, yeah i got nothing i'm good too i did I think that big mac and aj could probably have pushed that rock themselves <laughs> Or yeah. with all the Big Mac jokes about how strong he is, he could probably just have kicked it up. Yeah, he's probably strong enough that... Well, you notice, they weren't making any movement on it at all. Then Big Mac jumps in, and it just starts rolling. <laughs> it's like, uh, I've got a feeling I know where most of that strength's coming from. <laughs> exactly. I love Mod where she's like, I'm pushing as hard as I can. Yeah. I'm pushing as hard as I can. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's all about rocks. It's funny. Mott has more expression than Christian Stewart did in Twilight. Who? Uh, the main chicken Twilight. It's a running dude. gag. Yeah. Oh. For emotionless characters, the running gag is they have still more emotional, <laughs> still more emoting. Than you could Kristen have Stewart. said Orlando Bloom in the first Lord of the Rings trilogy, or as Will Turner, and I would have gotten it. Oh come on, Orlando it's true. Bloom was just Orlando there. Orlando Bloom to look had good. two expressions in that entire movie, in the entire Lord of the Rings and Pirates of the Caribbean trilogies. Yeah, so, confused uh, anyway. and constipated. Anyway, uh, 